Welcome to Kicking with Bobby Joe. On this week's episode of the Lake Hill City Birds, I'm going to be turning another lamp into a bird bath. I did a video last year turning a lamp into a bird bath, and it was one of my most popular videos on this channel. I find it funny because I started this as a cooking channel, but my bird do it yourself projects seem to get the most views. The bird bath I made last year broke. I actually shattered the base with my hoe as I was trying to get the weeds out of my garden. I accidentally hit it with a hoe right in the center and it was beyond repair. I had changed out the bird bath basin to a deeper plate and all the birds really enjoyed it so I was so sad to see it ruined. I've made a few trips to Goodwill looking for another lamp and a couple of months ago I finally found a couple of lamps that I thought would work great for bird baths. I videoed my Goodwill shopping trip, but I lost the video. I'm not sure which file it was stored in, but I cannot find it, so we're going to skip the shopping trip this time. They were having their half-off sale, and I always like to go there when they're having a half-off sale. So I got this one for $6.50, and I thought it would make a really neat base for a bird bath. Steve's going to help me take it apart. And I'm going to save this lamp shade. I have a floor lamp that I need to repair, and I think this shade will work great with that floor lamp. This has a decorative top that we need to remove, so we want to remove everything, including the wire. Steve is just cutting the wire, and then he's going to pull it out of the lamp. You can unwire it without cutting if you want to, but it is much quicker just to cut it. If you want to save your wire, then by all means, go ahead and remove everything without cutting the wire. It can be done. Now he's removing the rod that was holding that decorative piece on. And that's all there is to taking a lamp apart. I'm going to take this and I'm going to paint it. This used to be part of a bird bath that I got from Aldi. It is made of hard plastic and it cracked and the base broke. I used some non-toxic glue to patch up the cracks on the bottom, but it still leaks a little, but I think I have a solution for that. I'm going to use this as the bird bath basin on the new lamp that I painted. Now I'm just mixing some concrete and I don't need much. This bird bath had a plastic base that screwed into this top part, so it's got a big empty spot here that I'm going to fill with concrete. Plus, this is where it leaks, so I'm hoping that this will fix that leak. I'm also going to rub some concrete over the other areas that were previously glued where there looked like there were some cracks forming. Then I'm sticking my lamp base in it and I'm going to leave it to dry and it's a pretty day out here so I'm just going to leave it out here all day. There's also this area on the bottom where Steve removed the cardboard that I'm going to go ahead and fill in with concrete. This is going to give the bird bath more weight. Alright, I'm back. It's all dry. I'm going to paint the bottom of the bird bath basin. only paint the bottom. I don't paint the top where the birds bathe. And here it is completed and full of water. Usually takes a few days for the birds to get used to something new in the garden. I will see if I can get some video of any birds on the bird bath.
We've had a lot of rain recently and I only had one sunny day to try to get some birds in bird bath footage. So that's all I got. But I'm sure as the weather gets warmer and sunnier, there's going to be more birds in this bird bath. They seem to be getting used to it. I know a couple of weeks ago I told you I would have a special guest in my kitchen. I've been having some health issues and I had to cancel that to a future date. I've also not been doing a lot of cooking, so this Wednesday there will not be a cooking video, but I will put up a video of our visit to the Lodge Cast Iron Museum. If you're into cast iron, be sure to stop by and watch that on Wednesday. Bobby Joe's fourth birthday is Saturday, so I'm going to try to do a video with her making her favorite doggy birthday cake. It's hard to believe she's already four years old. It seems like yesterday I took that drive over to see Melissa at Safe Haven in Scottsboro, Alabama to meet this beautiful three-month-old puppy. I lost my 19-year-old dog, Honeybee, two months prior to adopting Bobby Joe, and I did not realize what a great heart doctor Bobby Joe would be. My goodness, she makes me laugh daily, and she is a healer of broken hearts. So stay tuned. We will be celebrating her birthday soon. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more do-it-yourself projects, gardening, bird videos, and drool-worthy human and doggy treats. Y'all have a very blessed day.